Hello there my awesome viewers and welcome to Hack Attack. Now as always with all of these types of videos I have to state I am a mobile music producer from Sweden. If you're not interested in music production content then do not subscribe. <laughs> Now, the USB-C hub I've got right here is the UniPro or Union Hub Pro. And the reason why I'm using it is because it's got a detachable cable. This is important. And why is that? Well, you can absolutely use a USB-C hub with an iPhone. However, it is not as easy as just converting the USB-C connection into a lightning connection because the lightning port is a finicky thing. Things need to be MFI certified and even if you find stuff that are, it still won't work properly. So if you've got one of these hubs where the cable is permanently attached to the hub, then you are most likely out of luck because even if you get one of these adapters, you put it on there, converting the USB-C into a lightning connection, well, at best, if you're lucky, you'll get charging out of it. But that's it. You won't get access to the USB ports and any card readers or anything else that might exist on that hub. It is the same even if you're using a USB-C hub with a detachable cable because if you switch out the USB-C cable and you get a USB-C to lightning cable, connect one end in here, the other one in the phone. Well, as you can see, AUM is not picking up the sound interface because it's not there. And if we go to the files app and check for the external hard drive I've got connected to the hub, it can't see it either. It's as if there is no hub there. The only thing we're getting is charging. And then some might say, hey, maybe you should just use an MFI certified cable. Sure, I got this one. This is MFI certified, so it should work really well. But it's the same thing here. No sound interface, no external hard drive. Precisely as if there was no hub there and the only thing we're getting is charging. But there is actually a proper way of connecting USB hubs to your lightning port equipped iDevices. And that is these couple of old dongles. Yep, we're back to this stupid shit. This is why I'm talking about USB hubs that have detachable cables because this allows us to switch out that USB-C to USB-C cable into a USB-C to USB-A cable. And now we're in business. Will you look at that? USB-C and into the USB-C hub, USB-A and into the CCK or camera connection kit and then this whole shitty dongle mess right into the butt of the phone and then all we have to do is wait. Wait, 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 wait! That kind of escalated there. Either way, just wait for a little bit and then there you go. All the connections from our sound interface. And if we go and check the files app, we can see the external hard drive too. And it is the same thing when we switch over to the USB 3 to lightning adapter. I like this one because it allows you to charge your phone at the same time. And there you go. Sound interface, check files app, and there's my passport hard drive. Now, when it comes to the actual adapters, I don't really recommend you getting the CCK because I think it's rated to USB 2.0 and it doesn't let you charge your phone. I recommend this one. It lets you charge your phone, which is good, and it also is rated to USB 3.0. So you get a little bit higher data transfer speeds. And the data transfer speed really isn't that important if you intend on using keyboards or a mouse or a sound interface with two, four, six, or eight channels. It is, however, important if you intend to move big chunks of data back and forth between a flash drive and your phone, then you want that higher data transfer speed. Now, when it comes to buying USB to lightning adapters, my best recommendation for you is to buy the original Apple stuff. This is usually where I get comments with, hey, you're just an Apple fanboy in them by people who are angry at me for telling them to buy expensive Apple adapters. I mean, it can't possibly be that I just want to give you, my viewers, the best type of advice that I can give. I've done extensive tests on iOS, Lightning and USB these past 10 years. And something that has stayed consistent has been that when using third party stuff, it doesn't always work or it works at first and then it stops working. If you want to know the details about all the problems you can get from connecting USB stuff to your iPhone or iPad with a Lightning port, then I have a video for that. Go and check that one if you want to know more. 
Okay, so I'm gonna round up this entire video by saying I hate lightning. After all my tests, these past eight, nine, I think it's 10, I have grown to absolutely hate lightning. I hate how it works. And I wish that Apple would just take the slap they got on their fingers by the European Union and just stop with this whole lightning business for their phones and implement USB-C for their phones too. Ever since I got my iPad Pro with a USB-C port instead, life has actually been easier. The options are way more. Why? Because nothing needs to be MFI certified. You just need stuff to be USB class compliant in order to work with your iPad. I love that. But the problem is, since there are so many options, everyone can make stuff. <laughs> and, and a lot of it is really cheap and really bad. And if you wanna see the tests and stuff I've been doing with USB-C, well, here's a list of me trying to find just a good hub. Actually failing with the first five hubs I tried and then finding one good one. And then, uh, yeah, just go and check the whole story here. You know, I sat here thinking, is there really no solution for these hubs where the cable is permanently attached? I mean, how about a converter like this, where you put the USB-C cable into it and it kind of becomes a USB-A connector? I don't really know if this would work, but I'm still gonna get one of these. And now I also need to get a new hub with a permanently attached cable because all of my other ones are broken. But stay tuned on this channel, I'll test this out and I'll let you know how it works. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, you're a poopy butt. You got these links here if you wanna support me financially. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah.